क्लास टेन इंग्लिश सप्लीमेंट रीडर लेसन नंबर टू द थीफ स्टोरी स्टोरी इज रिटन बाय रस्किन बॉन्ड लेट अस रीड अबाउट द ऑथर रस्किन बॉन्ड बॉर्न इन 1934 इज एन इंडियन ऑथर ऑफ ब्रिटिश डिसेंट रस्किन बॉन्ड वाज बोर्न इन कसौली हिमाचल प्रदेश and grew up in jamnagar dehradun new delhi and shimla raskin bond has been writing for over 60 years and most of his works are influenced by life in the hill stations at the four hills of the himalayas where he spent his childhood he wrote his first novel the room on the roof at the age of 17 The novel was based on his experiences while staying in a small rented room on a roof with his friends at Dehradun. Let us read about. Let us know about the story now. The name of the story is the thief's story. This is the story about a thief. And after reading this story, after completing the lesson, you will be able to understand human values. empathy kindness and what is trust apart from human values you will be able to understand how important is education anybody can steal money few hundreds of rupees anybody can steal but nobody can steal our knowledge and this is realized by none other than the thief himself how important is education in a man's life anything can be stolen away but nobody can steal our knowledge this is a story about the thief how a thief change to change his mind and heart and how he tries to become a nice gentle person and he realizes the importance of education in his life let us read the story now i was still a thief when i met anil and though only 15 I was an experienced and fairly successful man. We say this in the narrative. He is a thief. He is saying at the age of 15, he is a successful man. That means he is very perfect in his job. What was his job? Stealing. Thief. Anil was watching a wrestling match when I approached him. He was about 25, a tall, lean fellow, and he looked easygoing, kind, and simple enough for my purpose. What was his purpose? Why was he looking at the other person? What was his name? The other person was Mr. Anil. He was watching a wrestling match at that time, and he approached him. How was Anil? A simple, easy-going, kind person, and he thought he is the right person to steal him, take away his all valuables. Who thought so? The thief. You look a bit off a wrestler yourself, I said. A little flattery helps in making friends. He wanted to be friends with Anil, so he said, "You look like a wrestler." Just flatter, flatter means praising, false praises. So do you, he replied, which put me off for a moment because at that time I was rather thin. Anil was lean, the thief also was thin. So Anil said, "Even you look like a wrestler." So he was taken away. Well, I said modestly, I do wrestle a bit. What is your name? He asked. Who was Anil? Anil asked the thief. What is his name? Hari Singh. Anil lied. I took a new name every month that kept me ahead to the police and my former employers. Every time he used to steal, escape, and take a new name. Every time. After this introduction, I will talk about a well-oiled wrestler who were threatening, lifting, and throwing each other about. I didn't have much to say. I will walk away. I followed casually. Who followed casually? The thief. What name he said? Hari Singh. He lied. It was not his real name. He took a different name at different locations. Hello again, he said. I gave him my most angry smile. I want to work for you, I said, but I can't pay you. Who said this? Anil. What? Hari Singh said he wanted to work for Anil. Anil did not need any 
servant or an assistant. So he said, I don't pay you. I don't have money to pay you. I thought that over a minute. Perhaps I had misjudged my back. I asked, can you feed me? Then he thought, Anil is a very rich, rich person, must be having a lot of money. So that could make his job easier. He can loot him away. Any time he can take, steal his money and escape, run away from there. Then he thought he has misjudged. Then he said, okay, can you feed me? Can you cook? I can cook. I lied again. Who said this? Hari Singh. I can cook. He said he can cook. Again he lied. He was not a good cook. If you can cook, then maybe I can feed you. So if you can cook, then I am ready to feed you. He took me to his room over the Jarnas sweet shop and told me, I could sleep on the balcony, but the meal I cooked that night must have been terrible because Ali gave it to a stray dog and told me to be off. But I just hung around, smiling in my most appealing way, and he couldn't help laughing. So, what was true? Hari Singh was not a good cook. The food he cooked was not eaten by Anil. He threw it to a stray dog and he said he get out. But Hari Singh did not go. He wanted job. He wanted to be with Anil. He wanted, his idea was different. He wanted to steal his money. So, he wanted to be with Anil. Later, he patted me on the head and said, never mind. He would teach me to cook. And he said, okay, don't worry, get in. He also taught me how to write my name and said he would soon teach me to write whole sentences and to add numbers. I was grateful. I knew that once I could write like an educated man, there would be no limit to what I could achieve. You see, how kind Anil was. He said, okay, I'll teach you how to cook. I'll also teach you how to write. I teach you how to write sentences. I teach you how to write your name. He was very kind, simple, easy going person. On the contrary, what Hari Singh thought, okay, if I stay here and learn how to read, write, how to add numbers, that becomes his job easier in future. I was quite pleasant working for Anil. I made the tea in the morning and then would take me take my time buying the day's supplies, usually making a profit of about a rupee a day. I think he knew I made a little money this way but it did not seem to be mine. So every day he used to do all the work, he used to cook, he used to make tea in the morning for Hari For whom? For Anil. He used to make tea for Anil and he used to do the shopping also, daily supplies he used to buy. And then he used to make one rupee every day. He used to, by his intelligence or the his cunningness, he used to make money even while shopping. So Anil knew it, but he didn't want. He was a very kind person. He was very easy going. He was a very simple man. Though he knew that this Hari Singh is making money every day. He is saving one rupee out of the supplies what he is making from the shop, yet he did not send him away. Anil made money by fits and starts. He would borrow one week, then the next he kept worrying about the next check. But as soon as it arrived, he would go out and celebrate. It seems he wrote for magazines a queer way of making a living. He was a very struggling author. He was not a very rich person though he was educated. Fine, simple. He was a struggling author. He used to write for magazines, newspapers, etc. And he earned very little money, not much. One evening he came home with a small bundle of notes saying he had just sold a book for a publisher. At night I saw him tuck the money under the mattress. I had been working for Anil for almost a month and apart from cheating on the shopping, had not done anything in my line of work. I had a very opportunity for doing so. Anil had given me a key to the door and I could come and go as I pleased. He was the most trusting person I had ever met. So one day he saw Anil came home with a bundle of notes. Then he said he had written, he used to write books, he was an author. So he had sold a book to a publisher 
and in turn he got some money and Hari Singh saw him keeping the money under the mattress and so far it was almost a month Hari Singh and Hari Singh was staying in Tangri and he never had an opportunity to do something steal or cheat he used to cheat in shopping every day or week not more than that so he had made some plan now because he saw some currency notes in Anil's hand and he knew where he has kept that money and that is why it was so difficult to rob him because Anil had trusted him he had tremendous trust on Arisin though he knew that he was a thief and he is uh, cheating him every day at least by taking one rupee or little less or more but he didn't do anything he still trusted Hari Singh the thief. It's easy to rob a greedy man because he can afford to be robbed. But it is difficult to rob a careless man. Sometimes he doesn't even notice he has been robbed. And what takes all the pleasure out of the work? Well, it's time I had some real work. I told myself. I am out of practice and if I don't take the money, he will only waste it on his friends. After all, he doesn't even pay me. So when Hari Singh saw the money, Anil had kept it under the mattress and then he had made some plan. He, he thought it's very difficult to rob such a person, such a kind person, a simple person who has a tremendous trust on him. But then he said, I am doing a lot of work, I am staying here and after all this is my job, I have to steal. If I don't steal, I won't survive. And after all, what is Anil going to do with this money? He is anyway going to spend on his friends, he is going to celebrate. So it is better I take the money and run away from here. Anil was asleep. A beam of moonlight stepped over the balcony and fell on the bed. I sat up on the floor considering the situation. If I took the money, I could catch the 1030 express to Lucknow. Sleeping out of the blanket, I crept up to the bed. Anil was sleeping peacefully. His face was clear and unlined. Even I had more marks on my face, though mine were mostly scars. So, he had decided, if he take the money now, he could catch 1030 train and he wanted to escape from there and reach Lucknow. Then he made a plan. And he was sleeping peacefully, slowly, harassing, crept out of his blanket and reached near Ali. My hands slid under the mattress searching for the notes. When I found them, I drew them out without a sound. And he sighed in his head and turned on his side towards me. I was startled and quickly crawled out of the room. So slowly he crept into the room. He kept his hand under the mattress and he could feel the money, he could see the money and he took the money. Just then Anil turned it his side towards Hari Singh. But he was in deep sleep. Slowly Hari Singh took the money and crawled out of the room without making any noise. When I was on the road, I began to run. I had the notes at my waist. Held there by the string of my pajamas, I slowed down to walk and counted the notes 600 rupees in 50s. I could leave like an oil rich Arab for a week or two. So he came out, he was on the road, he started running, then he stopped, he started walking. The money was stuck on his waist. He moved that, counted 600 rupees were there, 50 rupees notes, 600 rupees were there. Then he thought this will be sufficient for him for one week. One week he can live like a rich Arab. When I reached the station, I did not stop at the ticket office. I had never bought a ticket in my life. Who said this? Hari Singh. He had never bought a ticket in his life. He was a thief after all. But dashed straight to the platform. The Lucknow Express was just moving out. The train had still to pick up speed and I should have been able to jump into one of its carriages. But I hesitated. For some reason I can't explain and I lost the chance to get away. 
So what did he do? He took the money. How much money was there? Six hundred. He counted. He reached the station. He did not wait to buy a ticket. He just entered the platform. The train to Lucknow was about to leave. It was slow. It was leaving almost. He could have ran and or boarded on any of that compartment. But he stood there. And for reasons not known, he was not able to decide whether to go board the train and go to Lucknow or stay there and go back to Ali. So for few seconds, few minutes, he stood there for no reason. So that was bringing a change in him. When the train had gone, I found myself standing alone on the deserted platform. It is deserted. Nobody was there. The train had gone. Which train was it? Train to Lucknow. It had gone, and Ali Singh was all alone, standing on the platform, thinking, "I had no idea where to spend that night. I had no friends. Believing that friends were no more trouble than help, and I did not want to make anyone curious by staying at one of the small hotels near the station. The only person I knew really well was the man I had robbed. Who was that man? Ali." Leaving the station, I walked slowly to the bazaar. So we stood there. The station was deserted. Nobody was there on the station. The train he wanted to catch had left. Now where to go? He didn't want to stay in a hotel. He didn't. He never had any friends. He thought friends are of no use. They are more trouble than of help. So he didn't make any friends. Now he knew only person. Who was that? The person who had. Whom he had robbed, so that was Ali. So now he had to go back to Ali, no other hope. So he started walking. In my short career as a thief, I had met a st study of men's faces when they had lost their boots. The greedy man showed fear. The rich man showed anger. The poor man showed acceptance. But I knew that Ali's face, when he discovered the theft. Would show only a touch of sadness, not for the loss of money, but for the loss of trust. See, he was a very popular thief, experienced thief. In his experience, he had noticed that when a rich man lost his money, how he felt, how a poor man felt, how a greedy man felt, and he could visualize Anil's face and. He visualized that Anil would feel only sadness. He could see, he could visualize sadness on Anil's face because he had trust on him, and that was not for loss of money, but that was for loss of trust that he had in Hari Singh. I found myself in the garden and sat down on a bench. The night was chilly. It was early November. And a light drizzle added to my discomfort. Soon it was raining quite heavily. My shirt and pajamas stuck to my skin, and a cold wind blew in the rain across my face. So he was sitting there on a bench, thinking, imagining what would happen to Anil when he realized that what would he feel, how he would feel. He was thinking, and it was raining. It was early November, and. It started raining heavily, and his face, his clothes were wet. I went back to the bazaar and sat down in the shelter of the clock shop. The clock showed midnight. I felt the I felt for the notes. They were damp from the rain. So he touched where he had tucked the notes, the vest, and then he touched there. It was the notes were all damp and wet because of the rain. Anil's money in the morning he would have probably have given me two or three rupees to go to the cinema. But now I had it all. If he was with Anil, Anil would have given him some two three rupees to enjoy, go to watch a movie, or have some snacks, something like that. Now he had everything with him. I could not cook his meal, run to the bazaar, or learn to write whole sentences anymore. Since he left the house with the money. Now he cannot go back. He cannot learn sentences. He cannot learn how to read and write. He cannot learn how to count money, add money. He cannot cook for money. So since he is out of the house, he cannot do anything. He was thinking. 
I had forgotten about them in an excitement of the theft. Whole sentences I knew could one day bring me more than a few hundred rupees. It was a simple matter to steal and sometimes just as simple to be caught. But to be a really big man, a clever and a respected man was something else. I should go back to him. I told myself if only to learn to be better. Now he realized. To steal money, you don't require any knowledge. You can live for few days, not, but this cannot be your permanent occupation. So we thought, if I am with Ali and if he teach me how to read and write, I can become a big man. He says big man is a gentleman. How can he become a respectable man? By education. Nobody can steal knowledge. People can steal money. Nobody can steal knowledge. So he realized that. And he said, I should go back to Anil, if not for the work or for the money, but at least to learn, to read and write, to be an educated person, to be an literate person. I hurried back to the room feeling very nervous. For it is much easier to steal something than to return it undetected. I opened the door quietly, then stood in the doorway. In clouded moonlight, and it was still fast asleep. I crept to the head of the bed, and my hand came up with the nose. I felt his, his breath on my hand. I remained still for a minute. Then my hand found the edge of the mattress and slipped it under the nose. Now, what he did? Slowly he came back, opened the door, stood there for a minute, and he was still fast asleep. It was midnight. Then slowly he went there, took the notes and kept it under the mattress, same place from where he had taken, unnoticed. And he was sleeping so he did not notice it. I awoke next morning to find that Anil had already made it. So next morning he also, after keeping the notes, he also slept. Next morning when he woke up, he saw Anil had made the tea. He stretched out his hand towards me. There was a 50 rupee note between his fingers. My heart sank. I thought I had been discovered. So next day when he was there, Anil had already prepared tea for him and he gave him 50 rupees notes and said, now hereafter, every month I will pay you. I made some money yesterday, he said. He explained. Now you will be paid regularly. So what Anil said? Since he's working, Hari Singh was working there, said you will be paid regularly now. Yesterday I made some money and from that money he was giving me 50 rupee notes and then he said here after you will be paid regularly. My spirits rose. But when I took the note, I saw it was wet from the night's day. Today we will start writing sentences, he said. He knew, but neither his lips nor his eyes showed anything. I smiled at Ali in my most appealing way and the smile came by itself without any effort. First time when he met Anil, forcefully he smiled as if to please him. He wanted to please Anil because he wanted to go with Anil, work for him, work for him and slowly steal. He what he wanted to do, fulfill his job. But now the situation is changed. He has stolen the money. When Anil gave him money, 50 rupees, he knew it was wet. That showed Anil knew what Hari Singh had done. But there was no change. He trusted Hari Singh's tree. There was no expression on his face. He smiled as usual and he said, Today we will start writing complete sentences. He wanted to make Hari Singh an educated person. To educate him, he wanted to make him a literate person. So he gave him a favorite note. When Hari Singh took that note, it was wet. He realized that Anil knew it. What Anil knew it? That Hari Singh had stolen the money. He came back again. He had kept the money as it is there. So what does this show? It is the trust. Trust. What Anil had tremendous trust on Hari Singh. And how did Hari Singh change? When you are in a company of good people, automatically your behavior also changes. 
that is what happened with Hari Singh. How was Anil? Very simple, easy going, and he trusted Hari Singh a lot. Even though he knew that Hari Singh had taken the money, he had stolen the money, he did not see anything. Earlier also, when Hari Singh used to go for shopping to buy his daily supplies, he used to cheat him. Anil knew that, but he didn't tell him anything. He still trusted him. And Anil knew that he had lied. His name was a fake name, false name. It was not real. He lied that he knew cooking, but he did not know. So Anil taught him how to cook. He also taught him how to read and write, how to add numbers. He was also teaching him how to write complete sentences to make an educated person. Because of this, Hari Singh's mentality also changed. He also realized that he cannot cheat a person who has trusted him. He cannot steal the money of such a nice, kind person. Anil Singh was very simple, easy going person. And then Hari Singh realized the value of education. He thought he can steal money, he can escape by not caught, he can escape by unnoticed also, he is not noticed by anybody, he can escape. But if he is educated, he will be a respectable person, he will be a big man in his, according to him, big man is a respectable person, educated person and he realized that to survive, you just don't, don't need the skill of stealing. Becoming a thief is very easy. Becoming an educated person is what is to be adopted. Right. So that made him to come back to Anil to complete his education, to learn how to read, write, write complete sentences and be a respectable person. And this is all how because of Anil's behavior it happened. Anil's behavior had changed his heart also, Hari Singh's heart. He could have easily gone to Lucknow with that money, but he realized that, that if education can make him a respectable, nice person.